Hi friends, welcome back to Simplify India, your ultimate learning partner. Today we are going to learn about the debentures. Here we have the content of today's topic, what the debenture is, how does the debenture works, what are the features of debentures and what are its types. First we are going to learn what is debenture. In corporate finance, a debenture is a medium to long term debt instrument used by large companies to borrow money at a fixed rate of interest. Here the given meaning gives us a clear idea that the debenture is a source of long term finance generally issued by the large credit worthy companies at a fixed rate of interest. Now we are going to learn how the debenture works. When the company is in need of finance, they issue the debentures as the debt acknowledgement to the general public and borrow the money in return. And after a certain period of time, at the time of maturity, the debentures are been redeemed and the money is been repaid back to the general public with a fixed rate of interest. Next, we are going to learn the features of the debentures. First, debenture holders are the creditors to the company. As people know that the debenture is a debt instrument. The debenture holder, as they become the holder of the debt instrument, they become the creditors to the company where the company becomes liable to pay repay back the debt amount to the debenture holders. Number two, debentures can be redeemed only after the fixed period of time. At the time of redemption, the company makes payment for the debenture holders by claiming the debt certificates. And in India, the redemption period of the debenture should not exceed more than 10 years. Next, interest paid to the debenture holders are tax deductible. It means the tax liability of the debenture holder is been lowered by lowering the taxable income of the debenture holders. Next. Interest on debentures are to be paid even if there is loss. Generally, the interest payable to the debenture holders is charged against the profit of the company. So, the payment has to be made even if the company makes loss, which is not so in case of shares. Next, debenture holders does not have any control over the company. Here, the control in the sense is voting power. As the equity shareholders who are the owners of the company, they enjoy the voting power in the company whereas the debenture holders are just the creditors of the company and does not enjoy any control over the company. Now we are going to learn about the types of debenture. Now first we are going to learn based on the transferability and records. Here we have two types of debentures, registered debenture and a bearer debenture. In case of the registered debenture, the name of the person is being recorded with the company and this type of debenture cannot be transferable easily without the approval of the director of the company and hence he becomes a sole owner of the debenture. Next is a bearer debenture. In case of the bearer debenture, the person who bears the debentures becomes the owner of the debenture and it can be transferable easily from one person to another person. Now we are going to learn about the types of debentures based on its redeemability. Here also we have two types, redeemable debenture and irredeemable debenture. Redeemable debentures are those debentures which can be redeemed at the time of maturity of the debenture. Whereas irredeemable debentures are the debentures which can be redeemed only at the time of winding up of the company. Next we have the types of debentures based on its security. Here we have two types, secure debentures and unsecure debentures. In case of secure debentures, there will be a collateral security or any underlying asset for the debenture. Whereas in case of unsecure debenture, there will be no collateral security or any underlying asset for the debentures. Next we have the types of debentures based on its convertibility. First is the convertible debenture and non-convertible debenture. In case of convertible debentures, the debentures can be converted into the shares to enjoy the ownership in the company. Whereas, in case of non-convertible debentures, the debentures cannot be converted into the shares. 
So friends, if you like our video and finds it informative, then please do share it with your friends, family and colleagues and please do let us know the topics in the comment section on which you want us to come up in our further videos. Thanks for watching Simplify India. Please do support us by subscribing our channel. Simplify India.